No sign of the disgraced Chris Pincher and his Tamworth constituency, represented by Tory Prime Minister Sir Robert Peel in the 19th century. But now the present Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, is being accused of ignoring warnings about Mr Pincher's sexual misconduct when he appointed him Deputy Chief Whip in February, a move that prompted a glowing endorsement of the PM. He won the massive majority in 2019. He's got all the big calls right and he'll continue to do so. Mr Pincher resigned last Thursday after being accused of groping two men while drunk at the elite Carlton Club. But he didn't lose the Tory whip until nearly 24 hours later. Amid several new allegations against Mr Pincher, it's claimed the Prime Minister turned a blind eye to warnings about his behaviour. That he was warned not once, but twice. And that in a meeting with AIDS in 2020, he even said, Pincher by name, Pincher by nature. Claims that prompted uncomfortable questions for Cabinet Ministers. Was the Prime Minister aware of allegations around Chris Pincher's behaviour when he was made Deputy Chief Whip in February? I'm not involved in any of those uh, direct conversations. I'm not aware that he was made aware of like specific claims about uh, um, any particular incidents or anything like that. No, I'm not. I don't believe he was aware. That's what I've been told today. This is not the first time Mr Pincher has resigned as a government whip. In a roller coaster few years, he quit as a whip in November 2017. In January 2018, he was appointed by Theresa May as Deputy Chief Whip. He served in various ministerial roles in the government. And then, in February this year, he was made Deputy Chief Whip by Boris Johnson in a cabinet reshuffle. While Mr Pincher admits drinking far too much at the Carlton Club and seeking medical support, Labour claims the PM is guilty of protecting his allies. If you have a situation, no matter what else is going on, where people believe no matter what they do, they will not be held accountable to that because of their relationship to Boris Johnson or the position or the internal politics of the Conservative Party, I think you are asking for the kind of problems which they have got. Mr Pincher won his seat from Labour in the 2010 general election when David Cameron became Prime Minister. A cabinet minister under Mr Cameron says unless Mr Pincher quits, more Tory MPs will question Mr Johnson's leadership. Either Chris Pincher, as we get to the bottom of these allegations, will have to take responsibility and decide what he does. But if that is not done, then yes, it will reflect on the wider Conservative Party, particularly in Parliament, led by Boris Johnson. And that's why I think for a lot of the parliamentary party, this comes back to Boris Johnson's leadership. In Tamworth, however, voters are critical of the government but have some sympathy for their MP. He's got blood, and, I, and, he, and he's, been, he's, he's gone a bit over the top. But for 12 years, he's been pretty good, I think. He goes right across the Tory party. I think most of the government are full of sleeves, to be honest. There needs to be a change from the very top all the way down. And if there were to be a by-election, Tamworth's voters will get a chance to give their verdict on Mr Johnson and his government. John Craig, Sky News.